Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is, so this is a prize winning beer, it's Cane's Organic Wheat Beer. It's 4% in the bottle. I've cooled this one. There's the bottle cap. I have cooled it. It looks like, um, look at that, it's nice and frosty. It looks like to me that it was a beer that needed to go in the fridge, so I've done that last night. Um, it is an organic beer. Um, it's from Robert Kane Brewery, and they've been making beer in Liverpool, in Britain, the great football club there. There's two, Everton and uh, Liverpool, but they've been making beer since 1850. Okay, straight away then, let's get this bottle open. Okay, by the way, this is, if you probably noticed, um, I've started recording in full HD, so click on the HD button down there and you can watch my videos now in HD. Quite excited about it. We've upgraded. <laughs> um, okay. Without further ado, let's pour this beer out. Lovely colour. Lovely colour to this to this ale. Ooh. It's, it's very floral. Very, it smells very sweet. Very sweet. Um, it's got a nice head and it's quite... It's got a bit of carbonation going on. But it's quite... Um, you can't really see through it. You can't really... I mean I should have a torch really but, but it's... Trust me on this, it's quite cloudy, which is quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Um, yeah, there's definitely floral notes in there. There's a floral edge to this beer. And it's, let's give it a taste now. Mmm. Slightly spicy, slightly spicy, but it goes very well. Let me explain. For me, it's first of all you get the spice, the, the taste of the spice. Then it's immediately after that it's quite hoppy, and then. You have your floral aroma then going on, a little bit in the taste, and then you know it's, it's around because you, you're drinking, it's going up your nose. And it's very nice, it all wraps around it, it's all one complete package. It's, it's very nice, but um, mm. Stone the Crows, that's a good beer. Stone the Crows, that's a good beer. Now, it's only 4% in the alcohol this beer is a pint bottle um, so it's it's not it's not that it's I normally do a stronger ale but it's not very strong but the, the flavors they're, they're very nice it all mixes up very nicely so it's very refreshing very refreshing so it says on the back here a combination of pure organically farmed wheat and barley malts and infused to produce a rich complex beer pardon me Exotic fruit, spice, there we go, said the fight, spice, and first gold and say it's S A A Z hops. Is it SAS hops? Could be. Um, bestow floral edge this pure natural beer. A wonderful organic experience. There we go. Um, Canes, I'm just looking at my notes now. Canes do a range of beers. Um, they got Canes Finest Bitter. Cane's FA, Cane's IPA, Cane's Dark Mild, Cane's 2008 Culture Beer, and they've got a few seasonal ales going all the way through the year, and a selection of five lagers. Um, 
they've got if you if you want to have a look at their website they've got a few bits and pieces for you to order if you're interested they've got um, a book of the brewers history in Liverpool and a brew and a, um, if you're in America a pub crawl is where you go you go to an area where there's a high density there's a high volume of pubs and you go in one so you've got an area of a half a square mile, you've got about say 50 pubs. Salisbury, um, down in Wiltshire, has got five, sorry, 366 pubs in the small town of, or city of Salisbury. So you've got a pub for every day of the week, every day of the year even. Every day of the year you can go to a different pub. So if you were on a pub crawl in Salisbury, you'd be able to, you'd have one point in a pub and you move on to the next, you'd have one point in every pub and then it's more or less last man standing. Um, so you do that with your mates, but there's a book on Liverpool's great pub crawls, so that might be worth buying. Um, there's also bottle openers, t-shirts, polo shirts, peak caps and pint glasses. Um, if you're interested in ordering any of this stuff, it's www.canes.co.uk. With the telephone number for the UK it's 0151 709 8734. Okay, enough of the reading. Um, back to the beer. The spice, straight away, the spice hits you straight away. It's more or less instant. Um, it's very refreshing. I'm going to rate this beer now. Okay, for the Kings, organic wheat beer, 4% in the volume. 7. 7 out of 10. It's great, it's nice, enjoyable, you can have a few. Um, Relax, that type of if you want to have a relax, have a few beers, that type of thing. Um, if you want to go on a big session on this, then you probably have to drink quite a few, probably bloat you out, and you'd be looking for you'd be looking at the top shelf and you'd be looking for whiskey and stuff just to just to you know help you along the way. So seven out of ten, nice tasting beer, nice relaxing, you know. Have one or two of these, nice relaxing drink, but if you want to go, I prefer something, um, a real L, which is quite a bit stronger than that, say, say a five, six, sevens, that's what I'm looking at, so, um, but a good seven out of ten. Um, if you've got any comments, if you don't agree with me, if you agree with me, leave a comment, if you like, on my on my reviews. Oh. Pardon me, the gas. Um, yeah, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. Um, it's a real ale guide at, on YouTube, and I also, if you want to leave me an email, it's real ale guide at googlemail.com. I also Twitter on real ale today. So thanks for watching. Um, I'll be posting more reviews in the future. But let me know what you think of the HD, the new HD video. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers.